Hey everybody, just want to make a quick video about how fascia science shows up in the hands of a real life massage therapist. And I think this pertains to everybody in physical medicine, anybody who's working with people who have pain or uh, movement limitations. Uh, does this fascia science really matter for the decisions and the assessments and the experiences that we're having? Uh, or is it just a matter of idle interest? Well, I think it matters, and, uh, and as an example, we're going to use the IT band, which hopefully everybody has an image of in their head. That is uh, a longitudinal set of uh, collagen fibers on the lateral side of the leg that helps to enclose the quad compartment. Well, here's five reasons why fascia research matters for the way that I practice every day. Reason number one is architecture. Do we really have a good picture of what the IT band is? is. And if we don't, how can we really perform good assessments, good palpation? How can we ask meaningful questions? Well, the IT band isn't really just a set of longitudinal fibers. It's really part of a larger compartment, the fascia lata, that encloses the quadriceps. Uh, and it happens to be a longitudinal set of fibers, but it also has branch-offs, commonly, like retinacula that come across the quad, that spread into the anterior and lateral compartments of the lower leg. It has deep muscle attachments up at the hip, and then it has superficial planes as well. Um, so the architecture, the actual thingness of this thing, is relevant to the basic sense of engaging with it. The second thing is biomechanics. Now that we know something about its shape, uh, it's meaningful to ask, how does it function in transmitting physical force? Usually we think of this like a tensional strut that engages when shock is absorbed in the leg, or some version of that. That's true, but it's, a, it's probably only half the story. The other half of the story is that when the quads contract, fluid pressure is generated in the quadriceps compartment, pushes out against the fascia lata, and the IT band functions to shorten longitudinally as it's absorbing that circumferential span. Uh, and so it's actually a transducer of mechanical force, taking the quad and making it more functional to surrounding structures. That's a biomechanical uh, specialization, and different IT bands will do that differently. Innervation is a whole other area. Is the IT band innervated? You betcha. How is it innervated? Uh, well, we think of at least three major innervations of the fascia lata on the lateral side of the leg. We've got in front the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve branching and blending with the fascia lata on the anterior side. Posteriorly and superiorly, we've got the iliohypogastric nerve field. And then posteriorly, inferiorly, we've got lateral branches of the sciatic nerve. These are different nerves with different courses through the body, different segments from the spine, uh, and, and they, they show up in different ways in everyday practice. Inflammation is a whole important thing about fascia that we still don't have a great understanding of. What's the pathway of an inflammatory process through the twists and turns of the IT band? What does it mean for there to be a local spot of inflammation here or there or somewhere else? Uh, do we really have a satisfying explanation when we say something like IT band syndrome? And lastly, there's proprioception. What is the representation of this fascial structure in the nervous system of this patient? How does the nervous system coordinate with mechanoreceptors in fascia to produce intelligent action? Uh, and how does that coordination succeed or fail in the presence of fascial injury or other kinds of fascial dysfunction? This is a very relevant area of study, and uh, I hope you guys feel as excited about it as I do. This is showing up all the time under your hands. It's informing how you work, um, and uh, let's keep an eye out for some new fascia research and keep talking to the scientists out there who want to hear from us what are the questions that we care about in our practice. That's how this thing gets more and more interesting. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day.